Hello, and welcome to another episode of Cooking with Kicks, episode 21. I know you're going to say to yourself, Michael, where have you been? And to be honest, I've just been really, really busy with my new job, still cooking at home. And I was able to find some time during this global pandemic to actually make an episode. And it's great for that. It's terrible about this pandemic though, and I'm just kidding, putting the mask on. I always wear gloves in the kitchen, but I still think we need humor in our lives, you know, while we're stuck at home. And for me, my favorite outlet is cooking. I enjoy it, it gets me through the day, and I hopefully sharing this recipe with you will get you through the day. So I've asked my wife, you know, is there anything you're craving, anything you want while I'm home? And she keeps saying, can you make salsa and guacamole? So I'm gonna show you from one easy recipe to make pico, how I can make pico, guacamole, and salsa, with basically the same ingredients and just adding one or two things. So, just sit back, relax, and I'll surprise you with this shoe. It's kind of a shoe review, not really, but, all right, so sit back, relax, and enjoy. Okay, so we're gonna start off with pico. So we're gonna start off with six pounds of tomatoes. One to two onions. I usually like red onions, but I had white, so use what you have. Get all that out. A bunch of cilantro, like one whole little package of cilantro. Four jalapenos, seeded or non. I like the seeds, I like the heat. A tablespoon of pepper, a tablespoon of salt. tablespoons of garlic and, and one lime. I'm just gonna squeeze that out of there. And then we're gonna mix that up. And there we go. We have pico. And once we're done with the pico, we're gonna move on to the guacamole. So the guacamole, right here we have six avocados. Make sure they're nice and soft. I like to use a masher. Get it nice and soft, mush it up. And then my wife's fancy salt and pepper shakers are gonna make an appearance. Thank you, Pet. I like to put a little salt and pepper in there. We got our limes again, another lime. One whole lime in there. And then we're gonna take one, two, let's we'll start off with two spoonfuls and see what it looks like. Try one more. Basically, you, you want it nice and colorful for taste. Another spoonful, more or less, it's not gonna hurt. It's how you like it. And now on to the salsa. Sorry about the food processor being dirty, but during this pandemic, I have to save gloves, so I, I wasn't going to clean it. So what we're gonna take is one 20 ounce can of tomato sauce. And when I mean tomato sauce, just like, uh, Find out where the crushed tomato aisle is. Not tomato sauce they use for uh, like spaghetti sauce. And then we're gonna add our pico in there. One, two, three, four. Four scoops of that. And I like adding hot sauce. This stuff is amazing. My wife got it for me for Christmas. It's a truffle, black truffle hot sauce. So we're gonna add that in. I like heat. And then we're gonna blend this together. And before we try this, I think it's time for the 
somewhat shoe review. And we're back with a eh, kind of shoe, not really a shoe, because it's a sandal review. Yes, these are the Reef Mannings. The company was founded in 1984 by two Argentinian brothers, Fernando and Santiago Aguera. So these are my favorite sandals, uh, especially because, you know, America, the greatest country still in this world. They're extra comfortable with this cushioning system, but my favorite part of this sandal has to be the bottom. Because you know what it can do? It beats Corona. And let's now try the fruits of our labor. We're gonna start off with the Pico. Really taste the tomato, cilantro, the heat of the jalapeno, and definitely the lime. Then we're gonna go with the guacamole. So cool, cool our tongue a little. I can definitely taste basically the same ingredients with the avocado, a little more lime, it cools it off. Very nice taste. And now we'll go to the salsa. Give it a nice little stir. Let's make sure we get some chunks. Oh yeah. Almost like the pico. Just kicked up a notch with that truffle hot sauce. Again, use any hot sauce you like. That's the one I recommend. Uh, just really great. Uh, thank you for watching the video. I had a blast making it. And um, the one thing I just want to say is, if we can take anything away from what's going on in the world, uh, I know we're being inconvenienced by you know waiting in line for supermarkets and uh, searching for toilet paper, whatever it may be. But let's appreciate the things we do have. You know, a lot of us are lucky enough to have a roof over our heads. You know, we're able to stay, be here with our families, and love them, and be able to spend quality time with them. You know, we're not wrapped up in the hustle and bustle of going to work and not be able to see, you know, those special moments or even create special moments, you know, with each other. And life will get back to normal, it will, but just don't take for granted the things we already have and just be able to tell the person in your family or families that you love them and you appreciate all the things they do for you. Because there's a lot of people that don't have homes, they don't have family, they have nothing. And they're going through this alone. And if that doesn't, you know, put into perspective how lucky we are, and I mean, I don't know what else to say. So uh, again, thank you. And hopefully I'll see you next month.